Tell me what you have done to this. So I bought this car about, I'd say about seven months ago. And when I bought it, it had a replica FD2 conversion on it. None of the parts were real, um, but what I wanted is that the kid had recently blown up the car and he had a newer K20 put into it with about 60,000 miles. The car has 180,000 miles on it. So to me, that was perfect. Um, I called the shop that did the work. They seemed pretty reputable. The car actually had a rebuilt head done at the same time. So the car is pretty much good to go. Um, I really wanted to do a real FD2 conversion. So I took all the replica parts off. Um, in the process of me doing that, I actually got rear-ended while driving home from work one day and the guy didn't have insurance, but he paid me out on the back of the car so I was able to get a lot of the <laughs> rear parts that I needed um, while building this, which was kind of cool, kind of crappy, but it worked out for both of us because he didn't get in trouble and uh, I got my car fixed. So I got a lot of these parts from Yahoo Japan uh, and had them sourced over here. You can use lots of different people who can source parts for you. Jesse Streeter does a lot of things. He won't do like big arrow parts, but he'll do stuff like headlights, grills, things like that. And I source a lot of parts from Straight Japan. Like I got the uh, OEM a, um, FD2 HID headlights. Um, I also got the real OEM grill, JDM grill. Um, I have a Feels front bumper and the Feels uh, fenders on here, which are a lot bigger than I anticipated. I didn't think they would be that wide whenever I ordered them, but they ended up being pretty large. Um, I have Grim Lights 57 Trans Ends on here. They are 17 by nine and a half plus 25. I thought that would be enough. I actually had to add a small spacer on there because it wasn't as flush as I wanted it to be, but they ended up, uh, the fitment is like right on where I wanted it to be, so it looks pretty good. I also added the Stop Tech Touring Kit Brake Kit. Um, and also their slotted rotor just for some extra flair. Haven't gone too far underneath the hood here. I've just done a few small items. I'll probably do more later, um, but I was really focused on the aesthetics. Um, but we do have our AM short ram intake. Intake noises are king on K-Series, so it was definitely a must for me. Um, I also did the K-Tuned wrinkle red valve cover with all the little K-Tune bits and the um, shiny chrome hardware. It's pretty much all that's under here. Probably change the radiator up soon and some other bits, but I know I have a fuel rail that I haven't installed yet, but I do have it at home. So probably be adding that on soon and that'll give it a little extra flair. We have the real FD, JDM FD2 rear bumper that I got from ICB Matt. I have my Borla exhaust that I had put on. It's a Borla, they don't actually make an exhaust for this car, but Borla's super cool that if you wanna have a Borla muffler, muffler on any of your vehicles, you can find a muffler that will fit your application and you can have it a custom exhaust made. That's what I did over at GSK Fab. I had the Borla muffler, I also had the turn down made, and it's also a custom catback. Sounds amazing absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite things on the car is the, is the exhaust. Um, I also have the FD2 rear tails. Round is the best. <laughs> so I went with the rounds and I got these actually sourced out of Yahoo Japan as well. Um, this is a C CSX uh, trunk and you can tell that it's CSX because it actually has the backup camera here and no keyhole. Uh, if I wanted to get real cool, I could actually wire in a backup camera if I change to like a doubled in up front. I might do that later on down the road right now. I haven't done it, but it's available if I decide to do it. Um, I have the Real Mugen FD2 wing. I got this also from ICB Matt. And honestly, probably one of the favorite things I've ever done on this car. I absolutely love the wing. I got a lot of flack for it, but I do love it. So. Who gave you flack and why? They often say that you shouldn't put a wing on a front wheel drive car. They say it doesn't do anything, which They're is often wrong. They are often wrong. If you look at any 
TC, TCR car that runs an IMSA or any pro racing for uh, front wheel drive, they all have a rear wing. So I will attest, be a testament that it definitely works. So um, I don't plan on tracking this car. I did this straight for looks, but 